Well, hello there. Star Wars Discussion here. Today we're going to be talking about my time in Star Wars The Old Republic. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. I started playing Swotor a little bit before the Hut Cartel expansion. I was on the Eben Hawk server. I made a Guardian and made it to Terrace, then took a little break. Never played an MMO before, so everything was new to me. Then I decided to make another character. I made a Sith Sorcerer named Sidious Palpatine, because he's one of my favorite characters. I know, he's not in that timeline, but why not? I had blast playing him. I joined a guild called Assassins of Naga Sedal. The guild leader there either gave up or wanted to do something else with her time. So I became the new guild leader. I had no idea what I was doing. I wanted to make it an awesome guild. And I ended up with about 20 to 25 people in my guild. Some really cool cats that were in that guild. I would spend hours looking up at the skies of Korriban on top of the academy, sitting down in my throne. Watching duels, it helped me hone my skills. And back then, sorcerers were weak and squishy. Smash warriors and assassins were top notch. Every top PvPer went there the duel to test their skills. Never a dull moment. My guardian at this point was an afterthought. I was all about my sorcerer. Then one PvP day, I went against Ulic Keldroma, Smash Guardian. Wow, my mind was blown. He wrecked everybody just about, and he was on top of the damage charts. So I focused on my guardian, got him the max level 50, and geared somewhat. By the will of the force, I got in his guild, the Brotherhood of Darkness, and became his apprentice. I became a top-tier guardian, and even beaten him once in a duel. Made a couple of friends there, especially Skull. He's a good brother. But the big problem with that guild were there were mostly Aussies, different playing times. Barely ever played with them in a the group PvP. I eventually joined Guild Republic, the biggest guild on the server. Played to the end of my days on Swotor. Good group of guys and gals. Had a blast playing with them. A Dexy, Spades, Chaos, Jail. Go! Hammer and everyone else. I played halfway through the Eternal Throne when imps and pubs were teaming up in PvP. That sort of killed it for me. Bywar just, in my opinion, didn't care about us. We so dearly needed a big wide server merge. I had a character on Pot 5, peak playing hours. You are lucky to see 30 to 50 players. Queuing up for flashpoints or operations? You better be ready to wait an hour or up. PvP maps were far and few. So were the operation maps. Then for PvP, it turned into flavor of the month. If you weren't that, you were going to have a bad time, especially in ranked. So I started to play other games, like Ark, Survival Evolved, and World of Warcraft. Back then, they had a big rivalry. If you played WoW, Swartor bashed on you. If you played Swartor, WoW bashed on you. It's just the way it was back then. Swotor was supposed to be the WoW killer, and we all know how that turned out. It didn't even kill a bug. Playing WoW really opened up my eyes to the mass stuff to do in an MMO compared to Swotor. They had raids out the yin-yang there. It's something Swotor should have had implemented, but they didn't. Swotor ended up making companions very OP. You didn't need a full group to go on a flashpoint. You just took your companion, put them on heel, and you were good to go. You only had to have them geared somewhat. You would never die. You could have soloed everything. There were things EA Bioware could have done to keep their player base. They could have added a bunch more PvP maps. They barely ever added a PvP map. Operation bosses. 
there are very few operations. And especially in MMOs, that's what really drives the player base. Characters from the cutscenes. They should have been more attained earlier throughout the game. Not during Knights of the Eternal Empire. That is just too late in the game. Not to scale the level of the planets. That made it unfun. A brand new player on Korriban had a chance in a duel to beat a maxed level 55, 60, or whatever they are now in a duel. That just blows my mind. Not to make it a single player game. Like I said, with the companions being OP. That turned it into a single player MMO. That is not an MMO. My final thoughts on SWTOR. I know the last part of this sounds like a hit piece, but it's not. I get mad at what happened because I cared a lot about SWTOR. Many of years of my life was spent playing. I absolutely had a blast playing, especially with you, Spades and Chaos. I'll never forget those moments in PvP. We were the first ones on, and usually closed it off. Tons of fun PvP matches. I don't regret the experience at all, getting Dreadmaster's Mask on my Sorcerer. Dreadmasters are pretty cool, though. When we dominate in group PvP with my guild, and occasionally core when they teamed up with us, shout out to guild core, getting absolutely wrecked in operations my first couple times, yeah, fun times. We even created superhero characters. I created a commando that was... War Machine, and another Guardian, which eventually turned into Supergirl. My buddy made Superman, so I made a companion piece. We wrecked it with Smash Superman Guardians. It was fun. The individual class storylines was worth the missions alone. They were amazing. We all know the Guardian is the head single class mission class story that everybody should play it's the main storyline but operative and bounty hunter it was hard to say what was two and three those two class stories were amazing scorpio mako gotta love it i don't regret any of it i had a blast Swotor was a fun period in my life. And a fun note, I didn't even know on their forums that they even had little short stories until recently. I don't think none of my guild even know they had short stories of the game tie-ins to the books on the forums. We usually just checked out the forums for the PvP rankings. This game was a lot of fun. Will I ever go back to it? Maybe. It's still around. Right now, I would like to, but I wouldn't. The memories I have of it, I don't want to be swayed or turned by anything else. I see that they eventually did merge some of the servers. And they're down to two now. For North America, at least. Everybody that plays the game and is still having fun, good for them. I applaud you. But for me, that time period of the people I played with and the experiences I had will be unrivaled. This game will always have a special part of my heart and the people I played with. 
Well, that will do it. May the force be with you, always.